Hello. Hello, my sisters. Just thought I'd uh, check in with you here quickly. I um, I did a post on Saturday uh, saying that um, you think that meditation doesn't work. There have been people who have said that to me. And then <clears throat> in that post, I uh, asked the question of... Uh, when you meditate, do you think nothing is happening? And actually, someone uh, let me know that that is precisely what they think is happening, which is nothing. <laughs> well, and so, you know, she doesn't meditate because, uh, you know, she's busy and uh, just doesn't uh, quite get it. And she doesn't get it because... As I spoke with her, um, I did notice that she was very stressed out. And um, her attempts at meditation, see, she felt, seemed to uh, frustrate her even more or stress her out even more. Um, and so I understand that. I understand that. And so the the deal is to get into the meditation and be diligent about doing it so that you can get past that point. You get past that point, uh, you are actually looking to break through to the silence. And getting to the silence, the, her mind is so noisy that she doesn't have the patience to deal with <laughs> we're getting to the silence. One one little shortcut that, uh, so the point is, basically, is that she doesn't think that there's anything happening when her mind does go to silence. She says she's had it happen a couple of times, and um, she noticed that she was a little more relaxed, but not enough to continue or to be diligent about it, because she doesn't think that any, she really doesn't think that there's anything happening uh, with it. Uh, the thing to understand about what's happening with it is that, of course, I said, and I explained in the prior video, that that's where all of the magic and the miracles come from in your life. And I was uh, wanting to point out in this video that there is some there is something happening in the silence um, we understand that it makes us more relaxed. We have less depression. Uh, we have uh, physical, uh, chemical things that are happening at the time that you're in silence that are healing for the body and the nerves and the brain and your feelings and your outlook. All these things, I feel, obviously are worth getting good at the practice. Four. The other thing is, in the silence, our thoughts, the, the thoughts, ideas, are floating around in the ether like spores. You know what spores are? They're you know mus mushrooms come from spores, and uh, plants, flowers give off. Uh, spores, trees, different things give off spores and they and they travel about and they plant themselves and they do uh, what they do like seeds. They're not as hardcore as seeds and some spores are so small that you can't even see them. Uh, for instance, like with mushrooms and uh, uh, spores that come off of fungus and things like that. So our thoughts are like spores. The, 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 these spores of thoughts and ideas and brilliant, brilliant ideas come about from the ether. And when you go to silence, you get to attract some of those wonderful ideas because you're getting this communication. These spores, these ideas are coming from on high, as we would say. Uh, it, it's worth getting engaged with the practice, especially if you're looking to be creative and you're looking for ideas or solutions to problems. And there will be a little whisper in your ear as you're coming out of a... I My personal experience with this is uh, 
coming out of a meditation, I've asked a question. I, I have a problem. I, I want an answer to this or that. And, and, and I'm looking for it to happen in the in the actual meditation. But what happens is for me personally, as I walk away and I'm doing the other things that I do when I come out of meditation, the answer appears. I've had many, many occasions when the answer has appeared, uh, problems have been resolved, miracles have <laughs> miracles have transpired, and it's because I initiated the question and the and the query in the meditation. And as I said before, you you really don't. I was speaking to someone just uh, yesterday, I think it was, uh, that said that she liked that she would get into the flow state, she would flow. You know, her work seemed to come easier and she could be focused easier and longer. In meditation, in that flow state, that is meditation. Sitting quietly to get into that state is one way to do it. But it's not necessary for you to sit to meditate. The idea of the meditation in sitting is that our minds are so busy and 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 wrapped around us so tightly that we're not able to maintain the flow state and have the miracles happen and flow easily you see but if you can get into the flow state without having to sit that like i said i think is a christ jidu uh here i go again anyway you don't have to sit if you can be in the flow state at all times, the whole point of the meditation and sitting is to give you a jump start into the flow state so that you can maintain it for the rest of the day and into your next, you know, into night. And then you go to sleep and you do the body repair thing and then you wake up. You see, so it's, it's important for us in our society, I see, because we're all too stressed out and crazy to just be in the flow state at all times without sitting to give ourselves that jump start into the day to have it. In any event, <laughs> think of the spores that you would like to attract into your life. I, I am not having people do something they don't want to do. That's, that's not the point of this. The other thing too is I have this thing that I want us to participate in, which is a divine radiation. Divine meaning our Godhead, our God spirit, our connection to source, that energy, that love that we feel. We can garner it and concentrate it and galvanize it easier in the meditative uh, endeavor. And if we could do that five to 15 minutes a day and then radiate it out into our family, into our home, and into our neighborhood, into our city, so that it reaches into the hearts of the people who are hateful and, ra and racist. You see, this to me is a core, you know, ground level, big guns way to handle this problem. So I harp on these things. I want us to get through our fears. I want us to get through our pain so that we can make it easier for us to go on and do this and have this feeling radiate, radiate out from us 360 degrees on all sides to handle this problem. I have loved ones that I, if in the future and present and right now, that I really want this racism thing to, to be eliminated. If we were to all do this together, how powerful would that be? How quickly can we get this racism thing to lay down? This bad, ugly, stinky dog. Well, anyway, that's what I have to say about that. And um, I'm hoping that you are participating with me in this endeavor of divine radiation.